हेलो स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू आई होप दैट यू विल हैप्पी एंड हेल्थी एट योर नेटिव प्लेस नाउ टुडे वी आर स्टार्ट अ टॉपिक वाया इलेक्चर्स लेजर टॉपिक इज लेजर नाउ यू आर वेरी फेमिलियर लेजर व्हाट इज द लेजर इट इज अ लाइट वन मेट लाइट not a natural light it is a device that produce a strong monochromatic collimated and highly current beam of light so how we generate that such type of light so this for this the credit goes to einstein coefficient so we calculate the einstein coefficient for laser action so what phenomena will be happen <clears throat> when a photon of proper frequency interact with atomic system and in a ground state then three type of phenomena may occur absorption spontaneous emission and stimulated emissions now first absorption when photon of proper frequency and e2 minus e1 upon h interact with the atom in a ground state the atom this photon will be absorbed by this atom as a result the atom make a transition means atom goes to lower energy state to higher state this process is called absorption the rate of absorption is directly proportional to number of atom in a ground state and also directly proportional to energy density per unit frequency of coming photon in short way we can say energy density of radiation now B one two is I state coefficient for absorption. Now, atom up now atom in a excited state. How atom return? Two process. First itself. If itself return, itself return, then phenomena is spontaneous emission. Why return? Because the lifetime of atom in excited state is ten to the power minus eight second. So there is the probability that it will emit a radiation. emit radiation and again return to lower state this process is called a stimulated emission or in this process a photon photon is emitted we have got the rate of spontaneous emission r21 equal to a21 n2 this is equation to a21 this is coefficient for spontaneous emission and to its population in excited state that means number of atom in a excited state now if the atom does not return itself so what we what phenomena we consider stimulated emission in stimulated emission atom is induced by photon this photon and it, that means the photon can interact with an atom in a excited state and induce the atom induce the atom in a excited state to emit a new photon new photon and return to a lower energy level this process is called a stimulated emission the rate of stimulated emission r21 is equal to b21 n2 n2 we already say number of atom in excited state einstein coefficient for stimulated emission and now thermal equilibrium here in normal temperature rate of absorption Equal to rate of emissions. Put the value from equation one and two, and after some calculation arrangement, we find the equation four. Now, Max Mel says the ratio between the population of state one and two, which we consider, and n one upon n two equal to energy difference upon K T. K is Boltzmann constant. K On T is the temperature in Kelvin is equal to H nu upon T. Now put the value n one n one upon n two in equation four, or we get equation we get equation five. Now you in is already studied in school level the black body radiation, the Planck's radiation formula. Energy density is equal to this eight pi mu pi c upon three upon a. Whole upon e to the power h mu upon kt minus one. Now, 
you see that compare equation 5 and 4, 5 and 6, we get this is equal. The probability of stimulated emission equal to probability of induced absorption. And now, the stimulated spontaneous emission and stimulated emissions ratio directly proportional to the cube of frequency. 8 and pi and c is constant. Now, this is the Einstein cost constant. Of that, we will meet in next lecture. Myself, lecture is delivered by Gunaram, Assistant Professor, Government Engineering College, Rajasthan.